what on like a, I guess, sort of scientific level, what is happening during that process? If you're doing a long grow out, like letting the hair grow, 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 and then you still have relax on the ends, what's happening there? And also, is that a healthy way to do it also in regards to that? Yes, I believe it is a good way to do it. You know, part of trying to transitional uh, part because uh, what happens is that the hair is contrasting. Um, you have um, you have this wavy texture, and then you have your straight texture. Um, so you have your straight texture and wavy texture competing against each other. And you know this like sometimes you know if you want to grow out your relaxer, your hair starts to break off a little bit more. Well, that's because it's, you have to basically train the hair. Um, you have to train the hair basically by pressing it out, putting certain products on the hair to actually keep it moisturized so it don't dry out, dry out at the new growth because it's something new. Um, and it's definitely, you don't always have to just chop it off. You can definitely just wait and not relax the hair until your hair just gradually, you can gradually grow it out and just making sure your ends are trimmed. Because if you have dead ends, what happens is that the, the ends, it splits up to the hair that's growing out healthy. You have healthy hair growing, but you have dead hair that's splitting up to hair that's healthy. So that's why you trim it every six to eight weeks, something grow, trim. Every six to eight grow, trim. Every six to eight weeks grow. And it's more healthier, but you can let it grow, but it's not healthy. 